Curse of Oak Island is a reality television show that debuted on the History Channel in 2014 and currently premiered its seventh season. This show features the Oak Island tale about a fortune and explores found specifics of the island, whereas cast can be seen in a quest of the treasure and historical artifacts around places of interest such as Money Pit, Borehole 10X, Smith's Cove, etc. As the show has already aired about 91 episodes, viewers may be curious in discovering the salaries of the cast and their net value accrued in 2020. Robert Clotworthy is the narrator who's been with us with his incredible voice for 87 episodes and enthralled a lot of audiences. The 65-year-old vocalist has been involved in over 100 films, TV shows, and video games. So it may not be shocking to learn that he is one of the show's highest net worth. The net worth of Robert is about $19 million. As a regular voice actor makes $33.82 per hour with all the big plays in which he is active, we might expect his salary to be about $500,000 a year. Marty Lagina, who was on 69 episodes, is also an executive producer, along with being the main star on the screen that the show follows. He is an engineer and entrepreneur who owns Heritage Sustainable and finances the Oak Island Tours operation and treasure hunt as well. He is currently earning about $500,000 in income annually for appearing throughout the show, but a matter of debate is his net worth. The 65-year-old married man is reported to have around $40 million from several sources, while celebrity net worth claims it's $100 million, but he's a millionaire either way. Charles, who featured in 67 episodes, is the show's historian, co-star, and production consultant. As he seems to be rocking in the Freemason cap, Charles is labeled a Freemason, but there was talk about him becoming a covert Templar, seeking to preserve the treasure of the islands. He is the best source of info that the show has about the island, but his pay is still not revealed. Well, Charles is confirmed to have earned a net worth of $5 million. Jack was already the show's co-star who is progressing slowly to become an executive producer. At 45 years old, Begley has appeared in 66 episodes in all. While his salary is currently unavailable, he must be making good money off it since he is a producer on the show. Jack is also the co-owner of Remote Energy Solutions and the stepson of Craig Tester, the multi-millionaire who was previously on the show. However, as he is independent after evaluating his overall assets and bank balance, it is estimated that his total net worth is around $3 million. David is often addressed on the show as Dave and Dan Blankenship's son. He serves as a show guide who's been on 64 episodes till now since surviving an accident 30 years ago. He is a treasure seeker and a producer now. His net worth is valued at $1 million in 2020 after receiving hefty sums from the show. Craig, 59 years old, is one of the show's producers and has starred in 62 episodes. Apart from being a treasure hunter and reality TV personality, he is an engineer who was previously in the oil industry. It is predicted that his annual salary is about $70,000. Similarly, his net worth is nearly $8 million, of which to our delight, his health is worth $3.7 million. Gray, the man with the metal detector, is the expert in finding anything of worth and calculating its value, who is still a treasure tracker before appearing in 47 episodes of the show. He claims that over the years, he has uncovered at least $1 million worth of loot, rings, coins, etc. And with a fine salary for being on the show, Gary Drayton has a net worth valued at $1.5 million. Alex, who featured in 51 episodes, is the son of the show's executive producer, Marty Lagina. Alex, 33 years old, is also a producer who still, though an engineer, has moved into more entrepreneurial activities. Alex is in his league with a staggering net worth of $50 million along with the sum of the show's pay.